I haven't filmed myself in about eight months. Probably looking a little different, huh? Anyway, Has Been Hotel is a new series on Amazon Prime that originated as a pilot on YouTube uploaded in October of 2019. The show is created by Vivi... Vivs, 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 Pop, Vivs Pop. I always trip up on that name. And the pilot took off. Like, I have seen TV shows be on for years that did not amass the following as this 30-minute pilot did in a very short amount of time. It was insane. And because it got so popular, it got picked up for a series which premiered on Amazon Prime. And I think Amazon Prime was the best place for this because this is not a kid's show. This is adult animation. There's violence, there's cursing, there's drinking, drug use, high sexual content. And Amazon Prime seems to be the place for shows like that because a lot of their shows have a lot of mature content in it. Like Invincible, The Boys, Legend of Vox Machina that Lord of the Rings show people hated. So the plot of the show is Charlie, the daughter of Lucifer, wants to help the souls of hell find redemption so that they can leave and go to heaven. So with the help of Alistair, the radio demon, she establishes the Hasbin Hotel, a place where souls can come and try and find redemption. One thing I like about Charlie is that despite being the daughter of Lucifer and princess of hell, she is an absolute goody two-shoes. Like she's a genuinely nice person who wants to help people. And anytime she's around anything like promiscuous, like there's an episode where she's around some, let's just say high sexual content, she gets very, very uncomfortable, which is hilarious for a number of reasons. So in the pilot, Alistair helps set up the hotel and he brings in a bunch of other characters that become regulars. One of them, uh, probably one of my favorites is Husk, who looks like the cat in the hat sold his soul to the devil which is actually pretty close to his whole deal. By the way, voiced by Keith David. H how the hell did an indie animator from YouTube get Keith David for their show? Unfortunately, there are quite a few problems because they also established that there is a regular angel invasion of hell to exterminate a lot of the souls because I guess hell gets a little too crowded and Charlie needs to be able to prove that people can be redeemed before the next extermination happens. I think the premise of the show is what's most interesting to me. Um, fun little fact about me, I went to Catholic school most of my life. And as you can see, that worked out great. But through all my life going to religious school, I've just constantly heard, you know, you gotta be good or you're gonna go to hell, don't be a sinner, you're gonna burn forever, you know, normal things to scare children with. But now that I'm an adult and I look back on that stuff, I've realized what a horrible system that is. Like, you go to hell for, what, doing stupid stuff? I mean, yeah, there are people who deserve it. There's murderers and horrible people out there. But what about the people that just kind of made a whole bunch of mistakes? You know, maybe they smoked cigarettes and did drugs and just weren't responsible for themselves or other people. Uh, do they just deserve to burn forever? That seems harsh. The, the, the punishment doesn't fit the crime. Even though this is a very different type of hell than we're used to learning about in traditional religion, it's more of a like a society where people just live fast and loose and violently rather than, you know, a pit where people go to suffer and be tortured. But they do establish that, you know, a lot of the things that sent people there are wrong and they allow people to try and make up for it. I mean, they also establish that there's people there. They're like, yeah, I like it here. I'm fine with this. I don't need to be redeemed. So, and I think that's kind of great and fair also. So in that regard, I think it's kind of a brilliant take on how people are treated and how religion has typically viewed people. I would love to go back in time and show this show to a lot of my old teachers and just watch them freak out. Oh, uh, that would be hilarious. So I definitely appreciate the themes of the show. Uh, one thing I don't really appreciate about it is the music. So, yeah, if you haven't watched it, this is also a musical. There are musical numbers in every episode. And uh, I kind of get why they're doing it. They seem to be going for, like, an anti-Disney thing. But it might just not be my thing. Like, I've always felt that if you're going to include music in anything, a movie, TV show, or whatever... I feel like it needs like a real purpose. In this show, when they have the musical numbers, they're just kind of expositing most of the time. And I feel like if you can do that without music, then you don't need the music. But again, this might be just a personal preference. Also, I do have to give some critique to the character designs in the show. And while they are very distinct from a lot of things, 
And I'm guessing a lot of the popularity of the show means we're going to see a lot of similar things over the next 10 years or so. I feel like a lot of the characters look way too much the same. I mean, yes, there are a lot of distinct looking characters, but for the most part, everyone in this show is like tall, thin, and wears a suit. And that's it. Also, I find the color schemes to be a bit weird because when you have a cartoon, you want your characters to like pop out off the screen, right? They got to be centered. They got to be noticed. But a lot of the color schemes for the characters are the same for like the backgrounds. So it feels like the characters just kind of blend in with everything and it just kind of doesn't look right to me. But overall, I like the show. It's got good story, good characters, good animation, good voice actors. I don't see myself being a fanatic over it like a lot of people have. Like, th like I said, this took off and people went nuts over it. But, um, you know, it's still a good show. You just won't see me doing anything crazy like bankrupting my channel over it. That would be stupid. And I do think it's great that a little indie animator from YouTube made it big, which uh, is very good for me, who wants to do the same thing, but doesn't have any connections. Anybody out there want to make a cartoon? I have a script. If you don't like the script, I have other things I could pitch to you. Call me. On my phone. But has been Hotel was good. I'd recommend it. Even though Hell of a Boss is better. Yeah, I said it. But that's all I got for Has Been Hotel. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of it. My name is Rob, and I guess I'll be back when the Amazing Digital Circus gets its show.